I got the prophetic revelation concerning Bisola Johnson. Uh, Bisola Johnson, you are a Nigerian lady. For those people who don't know uh, Bisola, she is the lady that has been exposing TB Joshua Skoa and Emmanuel TV for many, many years. She was a part of that cult, but then she managed to escape and she felt the urge and the prompting of the Holy Spirit to continue to expose what these people are doing in uh, behind the curtains, you see. How they are sleeping with each other, how they are uh, performing all these wicked, disgusting acts on this TB Joshua whom the Lord wiped away, you see, all these sexual acts. I don't want to speak all this in details because it's so disgusting. That person that uh, have placed his hands on you, your anointed prophet, they are, you know how they were practicing oral sex or doing oral sex on him before the services when he said that he was waiting to hear from God and the, and the, the Holy Spirit was uh, keeping him from coming out to, uh, to having ministry. Then they were having all this oral sex on him and so many things that she had been exposing. You see, she had been staying true to her uh, calling. She had been staying true to that job regardless of the insults and the mocking and people are bullying were bullying her and maybe up till today bullying her. You see, you know how cruel men can be. Men full of demons. Men with the spirit of the devil, you see. But, however, this night, today is 7th August 2021. 7th August. So, the Lord Jesus, by His Holy Spirit, His precious Holy Spirit, gave me this revelation about you, Bisola Johnson. I saw people sharing you. Shouting your name, you see, sharing you, praising you. And I saw the name popular. I want to underscore that word, popular, you see. So the Lord is going to reward you, Bisola Johnson. Praise the Lord Jesus. You know, the one thing is when men judge you. But what matters is the verdict of the Lord Jesus. Pertaining to that, I have a word to share with you, people of God, and everyone who is watching this uh, video. Listen to this, Psalm 75, verse 7. It's God who judges. Remember, Apostle Paul said, What matters is the judgment of God. I don't care if men judge me. Amen. So there is actually a very strong distinguishing uh, mark or distinction between a... Uh, goat and a sheep or a false prophet false teacher and a true minister of god a false minister of god will always be occupied or concerned about how men see things you see how men is speaking about you how men is judging praise from men you see whereas a servant of the lord jesus christ couldn't care less if people call them names if their reputation is ruined and scattered and people just Speak all sorts of filthy garbage about you. Because they serve the Lord Jesus Christ. It doesn't matter what man says. Amen. He brings one down. He exalts another. The Lord Jesus. I speak about the true Jesus. Not the false Jesus. I don't speak about the Jesus or the God of Tibi Joshua. I speak about the God of the Hebrews. The God of I am. The God of Abraham. Our father Abraham. He brings one down. He brought TB Joshua down. He wiped him away. He brought him down. You did you, you, Oh no, you said not TB Joshua. He is a true man of God. Oh no, he is the most anointed man of God in the world. And then he died. He couldn't heal himself with the anointing water and all this uh, occult satanic, satanic anointing products, uh, anointing water, morning water, stickers and all these anointing things. Oh, I was so, it's so strange, isn't it? That he couldn't heal himself. It isn't strange because the truth is that Jesus killed him. The God that I am serving. The God that prophetess Anne is serving. The God of King David. The one who has the true anointing. This is the one that killed him. Bisola Johnson, the Lord is going to exalt you. Let me not forget to put emphasis on what the Bible says. Psalm 75, 7. He exalts another. The Lord is going to exalt you. I saw the name popular. 
I'm speaking in the spirit now. What I saw a revelation I had about you. Popular. I saw young people sharing you. I saw young people shouting your name. Amen. They were about 20 years old. 20 plus. They were clapping. They were sharing on you. Amen. I saw the word popular. It's important for me to get this message out. Because if you open your heart, your spirit to the Lord Jesus Christ. This message will edify you. Amen. Hallelujah. Christ the Lord Jesus Christ. So continue in on the constricted way. Continue in the good race. Continue on the one and only way that leads to paradise. May God strengthen you and energize you and fill you with the knowledge of His will and with His wisdom. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah.